So what I've got here, oh, there you are. Hey, so this is my 10900K, the maker. This is my main PC. And all the parts are coming out of here, or most all the parts. And we're gonna put it in the Corsair 4000X RGB. It's just because I'm getting ready and very close to upgrading to my 14th gen, which is all gonna go in this case. Although this thing needs a cleaning. Ugh, disgusting. Oh, hey, well, while I got you, right down there, there's a little icon that says subscribe. Go ahead and hit that. And then afterwards, hit that bell icon next to it. That way you can get notified for any future videos that I do post. And while you're at it, if you don't mind, give this thing a thumbs up. That way you can show support that I can keep making videos like this. And I guess enjoy your video. Take care. So most of the parts are gonna be coming out of this. We're taking the motherboard, we're taking the graphics card for right now. I am gonna be reusing my graphics card for a short period of time maybe a year, half a year, something like that. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna wait until the 5000 series graphics cards come out, then I'll purchase one. But anyway, we're gonna be taking the motherboard, the graphics card, and the AIO. And I think that that's it that's gonna get transferred over temporarily. Then when I build my new 14900K, the graphics card out of here is gonna go on that for a period of time. Either that or I do have another graphics card in my 11th gen build, which is another, they're both 3070 Ti's, just that one is the for the win one. It's not really any better, but I'll either use this one or that one until I get my new graphics card sometime in 2024, I don't know when. But anyway, I'm not gonna go through this like step-by-step -step pulling these out, but you know, maybe occasionally I'll say something about the part or how dirty it is or something like that. Otherwise, this is going to be quick and painless. So let's get all these parts out so we can prep the new case and get all the parts. Oh, the power supply is coming out too. So let's get this stuff out. It's almost sad to see this coming apart. This has been a great case. It's been a great, although I'm reusing the case, but it's been a great, just a great PC overall. There's a drive. I always label my drive so I got that as B, just so I know when it comes out where it goes. There is our 3070 Ti. There's a graphics card support. I'm no longer going to use in this case with a 14 build because this is Asus. I'm having a gigabyte build next. So we have to go with what we got. It's hard not to pull on. Ow, that hurt. Yep, we got blood. We got blood. I'm going to take off the front so I can get to got a lot of cables here. A lot of stuff going on. This is kind of why I wanted to do a build without any RGB, just because it, it takes a lot out of you when you have so many computers to keep up to date, when you, you're trying to figure out what's wrong with it, when you can have something just simple, no RGBs, no anything. Sometimes it's just the thought of it's nice, but then what would that be with a YouTube channel? So, I kind of thought about doing the 14th gen without any RGB. Okay, this is dirty. All the parts of, I guess we're gonna take out this rear fan because all the parts regardless need to come out because I need to do a deep clean on everything. And this fan. It's kind of nice how they just daisy chain. There's a Z490 chipset with a 10900K on it. So I made a little boo-boo and I cut into this wire by accident. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably just throw this particular cable away so I don't accidentally reuse it. And then what would happen is I would use it and 
it would arc against something. So, and it's not, it's in a spot that I do not care for, which is right there. So you can see, you can actually see bare wire. So I'm gonna throw this cable out. All right, well, we gotta clean this thing off right here because it is a disaster. So I got my blow gun here. So I took off the heat sinks off of my motherboard and I'm replacing these thermal pads. I didn't think I was going to shoot it, but I said, you know what, why not? I got three of them replaced so far. I got my caliper out here because I don't know the thickness of a lot of these. But <clears throat> what's kind of funny is, for instance, like this one, if it'll focus on it, look how much of the choke or yeah, look how much of the choke, it's not focusing on it. This half of the choke was off of it. So it's just bizarre. They didn't do a very good job with that. And then for instance, you can tell right here, look at that. It should look like something like this and it just gets skinnier and skinnier. And it's like, they just didn't care. That's kind of meh. We're gonna be doing this one right here. And if we turn it over, this is the direction it goes, which means this is what we're gonna be covering, all these chokes right here. So I've gotta pull this one off, if I can. It's actually better with my fingers. And this just covered these guys right here, but it's only covering like half or three quarters of it. This is so ridiculous. Look at that. Well, you can't really see it, but look at <laughs> ah, it's so ridiculous. I want to say that that's a one and we're going to compare it right to this guy. This is what we're going with. You can kind of see the thickness. I'm kind of comparing, I'm measuring them and comparing them. So it looks like it might be this one because the next one smaller is too small. Yep, that's way too small. And the next one bigger than that is too big. Then I have this one actually, that one's also too big. So we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna line her right up. Like I said, the length is good, but we also want it a little bit wider. So then I'm just gonna take my knife. And go right through like that. I'll we'll pull this guy off, put it right over top of that. It's a little bit on the long side, but I'd rather it just a touch longer because it's not going to hurt anything. Unless it interferes with these screw holes, that's when it will interfere. Yeah, let's do this one right here. This one wasn't as bad. But again, wait a minute, am I doing the right one? Yeah, again, look, it's short, but I think it's supposed to be short because <clears throat> one of the chokes it does not cover. Which one? Which one, I don't know. That's a little bit better. Just a little shy on the length. But I got, I can move it over just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. And then we can place it right down here. And again, this is where the screw holes are. So we want to be careful not to overlap those. And 
should be good right there just like that. Alright, that's all done. Now we can actually, maybe I'll just clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol and make sure that this is all clean. And because I think this bracket for the cooling fan looks ridiculous, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Okay, so I found out why they only put a certain amount right here. It's because you kinda can't see it. Or you can see it, I should say. Let me put a couple of screws in here. Okay. So now I'm going to take my knife and ever so gently cut this excess off. Okay, now I've got the board all back together. Aside from one thing, I actually just forgot. We're going to throw this guy back on. I actually had to take these back off because the thermal pads that went on top of the chokes or the coils, they were not touching. And I thought I did a good job of measuring the thickness of it, but apparently not. So anyway, that is all set now. I just had to go to the next thickness. And now that I get this back on, it is now time to bring up the case and get this mounted inside. All right, we're just gonna leave the RGB fans in it. I'm just not gonna turn the RGB on. We're also going to add one rear fan, or rear fan, exhaust fan, I should say. But let's get the motherboard set in here. All the standoffs should be right where they should be, or need to be. I should say. And we just gotta line up. This doesn't have, there we go. That's gonna look nice in there. And I'm missing one screw because I believe on the other case, this screw is a post. So I'm gonna have to take one from here because I don't know where the other ones are right now. Okay, so this gets one different looking screw in here, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about it right now. If I find it later, I'll change it out because that's an easy one to get to. But there we go, motherboard is installed. We're gonna go ahead and reuse the power supply that was in it. Just kinda wipe a little bit of the dust off. This power supply in. We'll get these cords out of the way. I think I'm gonna just take out this, because I don't like these trays in here. So I'm gonna take this guy out. Oh, it's got the foam. Forgot about that. There we go. That's out. It's just got a couple of thumb screws on it that you gotta remove and then it comes out. Fan goes down on power supplies, unless you absolutely have to put it in the up position. What's going on here? Oh, I can't feel from that side. All right. What you want to do is you want to get them all started. Don't tighten just one. And that way you won't have a problem. Now we can go back through and just tighten them all quick. I want my cable for this guy right here, for the motherboard. And where do we want this coming? I guess right here. I want to do this before, I, I don't think I'm gonna put any fans, to be honest. Oh, you know what? All those fans are coming out, I forgot. Um, cause I got to put a, I'm going to put the liquid cooler back in here, I think. So we're going to put our CPU power in there right now. 
So let's get this plugged in. Give that click. Let's hook up our audio and all that while it's all nice and easy. So the audio has got one block pin, one over, and we got a missing pin right there. So we're just gonna put our, yeah, sorry, on this one, I'm not gonna get any close up shots. All right, our audio is now hooked up to the motherboard. USB type, or not type C, we got our USB 3.0. That's gonna go right here. Make sure that's good and tight. USB type C connector. That's gonna come out. This one's a little more challenging in my opinion to figure out how this actually, let me get this cable. this cable Ooh, I don't think that one was the right way let's see ah there we go all right so now we have our our power switch our reset switch and our power LED positive and negative so if we do this correctly so our power plus is the top the top most left then our power negative is the top most left second in, if you will. And then our reset, or our power, well, let's do this. Our power switch is the next two over on the top. Uh, that's the way it normally is on every PC. And then our reset, reset switch is directly below the power switch. I should have hooked up the power switch or the reset switch first. All kinds of problems here. Did I get it? I think I got it. To be honest with you, I'm not going to hook up the RGB. We will, I guess, use these fans, but the RGB cables are not getting hooked up. This piece right here has got to come out. So there's a little tab on the inside and then that comes out. That way we can get our radiator in there. Well, look at that. Looks just about like new again. <laughs> so there's a couple ways we can do this. We can have the fans like this drawing air through it, or we can have them like this and pushing air through it. So the way I'm going to do it is to push air through the fins rather than pull it. I can't do a push pull and I want the fans on the inside of the case. So that's the only way I can do it on this anyway, because if I if I did it this way, it'd be drawing air in from the outside. This way, it's going to be drawing air in from the inside of the case, pushing it to the outside. That's just the way I'm going to do it. And what we're going to do is I have a little kit here, and I've got some extra long screws. These ones that came off of the fans, the Leon Lee fans, are too long. They're meant for that. So if we can just get this started, this is the way I'm going to do it. And I don't know, just stick around. There's one fan down. Remember, you want them going the same direction and you want the wires coming out in the same direction too. I could do this. I suppose that might make a little more sense. Just trying to keep all the wires going close together if I can. All right, it's time for the case and uh, put this in here. I've got all the fans now mounted to it in the direction we hope that's proper. I do have to have some shorty screws, which I think came with this case. Let me, uh, let me start getting these fed through here. All these wires. It appears I am missing one of these. 
So either I'm going to find it here eventually, or I was missing one to begin with, and I just don't see it here. So that's missing. How about we install these guys? These are two 140 millimeter fans, and we can put these up at the top. And we want to draw air into the case from the top. That's just the way I'm doing it on this particular one. Just for the aesthetics. So in order to draw air in, we need to face these guys like that. And that's going to draw air into the case. And we want these going to the back. Hopefully these will fit. Yeah. Okay. Just. All right, so let's get these going out the back. Okay, that's it. That is, they are in there, they're secure. Now let's go ahead and put our pump on and we got to do one cleaning on that. Get our applicator on. That's what I use. That's how I do it. Put that down. And then we are going to... Uh-oh any good okay Oop. set that down for a minute and we're gonna use our index and I'm basically just gonna spread it and this still spreads fairly nice Oop. Oop, see I don't want that. Of course, I'm getting it everywhere now. Looks good. So I'm gonna start, let me just start one here. This upper corner one is always, well, I don't wanna say it's always the most difficult because if you had your RAM in, that can definitely make it difficult, but. All right, so we're already we're already touching here. We're just gonna gonna go a couple of turns each. Until we get it all the way seated down. Let's get our ramen. All right, so basically I got everything in. I got this in. My mic ended up dying because this thing went on for so long. So everything's pretty much taken care of up here. I've got to take care of some wiring in the back, but I should be all set. Nothing is apparently in the... Hopefully everything's all set. Let's check it out. We do have... Red. So let's uh, power it up and see what happens. So far, so good. I may have to change these top fans out because they're a three pin, not a four pin. So they may run high all the time, which would be really annoying and I don't want that. So I'll do that off camera but I am kind of just waiting for a signal here I'm hoping the TV is gonna grab it here oh we do not have any pump fans though right now or CPU fans so I don't know what's going on there 
There we go, but I don't have any fans over there and I've got to figure out why and what's going on over there, but we do have this. Oh, they just came on. That was interesting. So, okay, everything appears to be working, but like I said, I think I'm going to be switching these fans out because that's too much. It could be just the curve because my other fans on here did not have, were not hooked up to the Corsair software. They were hooked up through the Leon Lee software. So my curve, my fan curve could be a little off. That's okay. But they are spinning now. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. That's going to do it for me, guys. Um, this was just kind of a quick build so I can get up and running again within the day. And that way I can start on my 14th gen build. But I have to clean up all those other parts for the from the other case. So, anyway. That's it. Until next time, take care.